G'day guys, it's Billy here. Well, just make a quick video on this beautiful scorpion which I found uh, sitting on this rock, guys, in my garden. So, this just makes me so happy, guys, just seeing even a beautiful scorpion in my yard. And uh, usually, this scorpion you, you would usually find sitting on or underneath the bark of eucalypt. Uh, gum trees, eucalyptus trees and so forth so the first one, this is probably the second time I've ever seen this species of scorpion in my yard so it's, this one's very small, it's only a juvenile scorpion so basically it would probably grow double in size than what it is now unsure if it's venomous, I don't know the species name so it's just basically a common scorpion um, from the Dumbuyong area, as I say, very, very common on, underneath the bark of our uh, eucalyptus gum trees. When we were kids, me and my mates, me and Simo, we would lift up bark and see what insects were underneath the bark. You, so usually spiders and bush cockroaches and always, sometimes, if we were lucky, we'd see scorpions. But just another beautiful sign that of uh, just... A simple thing just a simple scorpion in my backyard guys it just makes me so happy you know because I'm not joking guys my yard is is an absolute paradise um, and uh, you know you wouldn't see this really in many other people's yard go and have a look on Google Earth Dumble Young and see if you can find my block of land and I can guarantee you guys you'll see it up in the air taken from an aircraft not not a satellite usually a high high altitude aeroplane anyway see if you can find my yard and compare my yard to all the other Dumble Young backyards and you'll understand what I mean when I say my backyard's an absolute paradise so Dumble Young's only a tiny town guys of around 200 people and the town is on the verge of uh, collapse, unfortunately, because due to all the shop closures, the Dumbayong Co-op or the general store is on is closing on the 30th of June this year. And then when that happens, everyone in Dumbayong will have to shop in other towns, like turning 50 kilometres away, or Wajin 40 kilometres away, or Narragin 100 kilometres away. But unfortunately, these days, most people prefer to shop out of town anyway guys just to save themselves you know 30 or 40 dollars maybe even 50 dollars no one shops locally these days that's one of the reasons i lost my business guys due to lack of community support but anyway guys we'll go for a walk and this and i'll quickly show you another thing what i love and this is my beautiful baby bobtail what i'm caring for and I'm going to do a very, very special video on this baby bobtail. The reason he's in that aquarium is just so for his safety, so he doesn't get taken by a predator. Especially my one-year-old cat, uh, Archie. Oh, sorry, Alfie. And uh, But one day he'll be released back into my backyard. But I want to show you one more beautiful thing what makes me happy, guys. So this is where the bobtail will eventually go. I'll take him out of the aquarium. And I'm going to create a beautiful bobtail habitat here, full of logs and uh, rocks and some fresh sand and so and so forth. So what I feed the bobtail to, guys, at the moment is like little diced strawberries, uh, even uh, uh, cut up grass like weeds, uh, little dog meaty balls, and so forth. But but usually, guys, this is what I really love. If you come here at night time with my light, my headlight, this tree is literally covered in thousands and thousands of ants. So this is a beautiful Casarina she oak. And just seeing simple things as beautiful ants in my backyard, guys, just makes me so happy. Usually this tree is covered in, you know, thousands and thousands of tiny ants running up and down the... Uh, tree trunk just simple things as tiny ants just makes me feel so good guys but anyway I just, I'm always showing off about my backyard 
It is beautiful guys. I mean, I think it's beautiful. And I grow thousands and thousands of trees and native grasses for my friend Dale. It's been a bit of a failure this year due to the cool temperatures guys. A lot of my tree plant seeds that I planted didn't germinate. And all these ones here are native water grasses, but also tree seeds will come off these trees and land into these pots and eventually start growing. And any weeds that I find, like we can see right there, I'll pull out and feed to my chickens. So I've probably got over a thousand trees growing at the moment, and native grasses, guys. And once I sign all of this, I'll cut that up with scissors and also feed to the bobtail lizard. But not, not too much. But there's so much food in my backyard, guys. So I've got about 10 bobtails. And last year I had two baby bobtail lizards. They live everywhere. I've got bobtail homes literally everywhere. Aquar outdoor aquariums. full of frogs and tadpoles so just literally everywhere ponds guys and all of these are sandalwood trees in the jam trees acacia acuminata the sandalwood famous for its sandalwood oil in the bush tucker the sandalwood nut This is what keeps me sane, guys, my beautiful garden, turning it into a paradise. So hopefully one day, maybe a beautiful family will live here and treat it with the most utmost respect. And especially never ever to disturb my beautiful four dogs and two cats and all the other little pets what I've buried throughout the yard over the last 40 years. And all of these ones pots here soon, not all of them, but most of them are getting planted um, in a certain throughout my yard as well guys. A lot of native natural grasses. Um, all different species of uh, local uh, grasses and shrubs and so forth and also out the front of my house that's my next project creating a beautiful natural habitat in the front area of my uh, front yard and there's also reminders of my beautiful mum beautiful hibiscus and rose bushes and so forth. Once again, the simple things such as a beautiful ant climbing up and down a tree. So as I say guys, most people spread ant powder and destroy the ants nests. It's a beautiful apple tree. This is Matt Nipper's playground area. But one day I'll give you a proper tour of my yard, guys. Nipper's that magpie right there. And this is going to be soon my vegetable patch. Probably in the next couple of years, I'll turn that into a beautiful vegetable patch underneath my beautiful apricot tree. And right there, that's an old potato patch. I've got it covered in corrugated iron so the rain doesn't ruin the potatoes. What are all waiting to, to be picked. And this is a beautiful plum tree. But I'll, oh, and this is one of my most favourite ones. This beautiful, not this, but this is a beautiful native grass that I rescued from a rubbish tip. But right here is one of my most favourite trees. The beautiful Banksia. And uh, I grew that one from seed. 
such a hard tree to grow guys the beautiful banksia tree of Western Australia so many different species the beautiful banksia and that'll grow into a huge beautiful big shady tree full of huge big flowers and this is Nipper's playground just here you'll climb up this And sit up there and just watch what's happening around the yard and right here in this patch of uh, vacant this strip of little land here against the fence is going to be a beautiful area full of all native grasses and shrubs and uh, so much more it's going to look beautiful eventually one day guys and right here with water tank is it's going to be a beautiful big fig tree full of beautiful figs that will fruit twice a year my beautiful apricot tree, sorry peach tree I've got bobtail habitats everywhere but I want to show you one more thing that I'm quite proud of a beautiful big rock melon and I didn't even plant it guys, it just started growing and there's two more growing but that one's a small one and there's one down here and also all of this beautiful there's a bit of plastic and that reminds me of something I want to show you um, I can't even think of this but this is what I found at the rubbish dump wage and rubbish dump not too long ago and it's uh, going really really well a native grass sorry I just can't think right now but this is what I was going to talk about guys I left this here deliberately a couple of hours ago not just this little piece of cable tie but this awful awful teddy bear fluff so what I used to do guys before I turned my gut into a paradise I'd bring home teddy bears to my um, to my dogs to play with especially banjo and uh, he'd rip them apart and my yard would be covered in fluff like this this horrible uh, awful manufactured uh, unnatural fiber what's usually filled in teddy bears and pillows and so forth and I would leave it laying there thinking that the birds would pick it up and make nests out of it and they did eventually they do actually do it all around Australia they'll use this as for nesting material so whenever I see it I pick it up and you know also just little pieces of plastic like that and that cable tie thing I'll pick up I'm always picking up little tiny bits of plastic what I find in my yard especially that awful fluff I've done videos on it before guys so whatever you do don't let your dogs don't let your dogs play with teddy bears or have hide in your yard, guys. It's absolutely destructive. Like right here. There's a bit more there. So what I do, I pick it up as soon as I see it. And I put it in my incinerator. Well, and then I'll eventually burn it. So... And also these grapes here are just for bobtails to... to uh, to eat because so I've got bobtails living everywhere in my yard guys in this hollow I even suspect that there's baby bobtail lizards in this hollow right now so that's it guys just a little bit of a quick tour of my yard slowly turning into a paradise and I'll give you a good tour and this is a pumpkin what just started growing there's no chance at fruiting so I just during summer I uh, just rip off the leaves and feed to my chickens I'll do that now actually and say goodbye and this also is going to be another area right here I'm building up for a nice native uh, garden native grasses and shrubs and so forth but mainly native grasses for frogs and bobtail lizards to live in and it's all full of beautiful sheep wolf or mulch so I found I always find big bales of sheep wool out rubbish dumps and I bring it home and it's beautiful uh, acts as a beautiful compost for the garden and the worms absolutely love it 
All right, guys. We'll continue going, and we'll let Nipper look start looking for food. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. <whistles> Nipper, here.